So today we're going to look at installing the network traffic analyzer module on distributed mode against a central IMC server. So sometimes one server is just not enough. You need to be able to scale both hierarchically as well as east-west and break out individual components and IMC really is scalable in both directions. Um, so today what we're going to do is connect to the central HP IMC server from the remote Windows instant, install the DMA on the local server, and then deploy NTA on a local SQL database as opposed to a remote SQL database like we did in the last video. So here we are in a Windows 2008 box fully patched. Um, the other thing we've already done here is installed Microsoft SQL 2008 R2 with all patches on this box already, so all that prepping has already been done. Please refer to the uh, installing Microsoft SQL video uh, if you need any help with that. Um, we're going to log in on the central IMC server here, and it's going to ask us to install Java, which we're going to need to do to install the DMA on this local machine. So while well, Java is installing, grab a drink, come back, and we're going to go into system configuration, and we're going to go to the deploy component. So this will allow us from the uh, IMC to install the components directly on this remote box. So right there it says at the top, um, if you have uh, not installed Java, this will fail. So do that. Um, we already have. We're going to launch the DMA. And again, now Java is going to open up for us here. The monitoring agent will now download. So we got to wait for this to happen. This is going to take a couple seconds. And there we go. We're just about done. So now we're going to go and do some some basic checks. Um, it's going to ask you what directories you would like to have this installed in. Um, click continue. You can take the de defaults here um, unless you would like to install on a different drive. Click install. This might be another time where you might want to go and have a tea or a coffee. We wait for this to finish. There we go. Finished. So the last step here is we're going to go back to the DMA. Um, we're going to do batch operations. And we're going to right click here. Um, we're going to hit OK. We're going to wait for this to install. One other thing to point out here is I've actually gone onto the IMC server and I've actually already deployed um, a couple of services, which is the recommended um, being the NBA and the NTA directly components on, on the central server. So this allows me to have multiple, um, spread out the load even more and have multiple NTA servers uh, in my environment. So now I'm going to go back, open up Internet Explorer. Actually, this isn't going to work. We're going to uh, go into the monitor because we haven't started IMC yet. So we're going to set this up to automatically start the services when the OS starts. And I'm going to, uh, in the background, pop over to the other box. And I'm going to go into the DMA on the central IMC server. And I'm going to start all of the services by pushing the start IMC box on the central server. So we're going to be able to watch the processes in here might be a good time for you to have a coffee again as IMC pops up and there we go you can see the DB man the uh, processor receiver TFTP server data analyzer all this stuff has started to come up there we go all of our services are started on the remote NTA box now remember this does not mean that IMC is fully started you want to make sure that the J server process and all the other processes have started on the other box so now that that's done we're gonna go into the admin page log in here and we're going to go into system and we're going to go back into system configuration into deploy comp component and we will be able to take a look at what's installed here so you can see that the network behavior analyzer server has been re installed on uh, 10.101.0.191 and if we scroll down here to the bottom there it is and we scroll down here to the bottom you can see that the NTA analyzer server has also been installed. So now if we go into service, um, go into traffic analysis and audit, go into our settings, we can take a look. Let's look at server management and we will see now that uh, that's in there. And we're done. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.